Jetzt, wir kommen jetzt zu unserem letzten Beispiel in dieser Runde. Und zwar ein Mehrweg-Flaschensystem, Jean Bouteille, wird vorgestellt von Gérard Bellet. Gérard Bellet hat Betriebswirtschaft studiert und einige Jahre in Indien und den USA gearbeitet, bevor er nach Frankreich zurückgekommen ist und äh, Jean Bouteille gegründet hat. Äh, das hat also, dieses System hat den Anspruch, eine Mehrwegalternative für flüssige Produkte anzubieten, das besser funktioniert als Einweglösung. Man muss dazu wissen, dass in Frankreich kein Pfandflaschensystem existiert, soweit ich das verstanden habe. Also das Mehrweg-Flaschensystem Jean Bouté von Gérard Pellet. Ja. Um, so, hello everybody. First of all, thank you very much uh, for the invitation. It's, uh, it's great to be here. Um, so, I, uh, before creating Jean Bouté, I was uh, traveling a little bit around the world, working in India and US. I'm back in Paris, then I got fired. Then I said, okay, let's do something fun. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, I was like a lot of people from my uh, generation. Uh, I like to uh, enjoy life, but uh, I can see that my uh, lifestyle uh, has an impact on, on what uh, is around uh, me. So um, uh, I don't know if that works. Hello. Yeah. Um, so how can we uh, still enjoy life, uh, uh, like food, drinks, uh, entertainment, but uh, limit our impact? And it's by um, uh, really looking at what's the sense, what's the motives. Uh, in the same time, I had the idea of Jean Bouteille. Uh, Zero, Waste, uh, no, yeah, Zero Waste Home was out, and there were a lot of comments on the articles about what she did, and that's really what frees me. And also uh, Unpackaged uh, was uh, really uh, an inspiration, because um, when you create something completely new where you don't see something um, on the market, it's really inspiring to, to see something similar or close by. So today we are two. And, and what we do is to uh, try to re-implement a uh, bottle scheme system in France, which is mostly disappeared. That means we cannot have, well, we don't have in the supermarket uh, returnable bottles. They are all uh, disposable. Um, and so we try to bring them back for all vinegar and, and wine. Uh, and how we do that, we really change the, um, uh, the way Uh, to sell it, uh, so we combine bulk sales and returnable bottles. So it's as convenient as single-use uh, pre-packed bottles. You just have to go to the store, take an empty bottle, fill it yourself. You buy the bottle and the package separately. Uh, and then once it's dirty, you bring it back. You know the deposit skin bottle because you have it here, mostly for your beer, uh, juice, and, uh, and other liquid products. But in France, it's, it's really Uh, it doesn't exist anymore for, for shops. And here we, we really need to think about smart grid uh, and that's where municipalities really have something to do because um, uh, the logistic is much more complicated uh, in returnable bottles and in bulk system than in a uh, single use uh, product. Um, so that's where municipalities need to focus on really what they know, how, uh, what to do. Um, how to have small loop that will generate less waste, that will generate less energy uh, consumption, that will create more local jobs that are not um, uh, delo uh, um, like delocatable. Uh, and, and that really is a sense of, of Jean Bouteille, how we can have one bottle that is designed to be reused uh, and that is uh, practical for the, the customer. And then, um, uh, okay for the market as of today. So here we can see we started with a very small plant uh, to wash bottles. Uh, we are in a, um, um, like, I don't know how you say, a help uh, plant for, for disabled people. Um, and, and we try to uh, combine uh, social issues with environmental issues. Um, we are trying to, to be present in the most, most of the products, uh, in liquid products. So wine, oil, uh, vinegar are pretty easy to sell in bulk. Uh, juice and soda, beer are more complicated. Uh, but now the market is just um, uh, opening uh, for us. It's how you can have a cheaper product that is uh, more environmental efficient, that is practical for the client, that creates local jobs. Um, 
um, and that's um, really reply to uh, a today's needs that is how we can live without generating that amount of trash uh, around us. Um, and really the, the uh, consumer is the one who has the solution, but we need to propose him uh, viable solutions where he feels himself uh, imp uh, implicated. Uh, so here I did a crowdfunding campaign. We could see the video later on if you want. I have a pretty fun video, but it's not very pertinent. What is pertinent is the amount of people who uh, reply to, to the uh, to the crowdfunding campaign, uh, it really uh, shows that everywhere in, in, in France and now mostly in Europe, uh, we can see initiatives and people interested in that kind of, uh, of uh, way of life that uh, doesn't uh, ask you to um, uh, stop consuming, but just to think about how you consume and, and propose them a way to, to consume it um, easily. Uh, I think that's my, the end of my presentation. Um, the, um, so to come back to the subject of municipalities, is um, how, how municipalities can help us. Uh, I had the chance to start in Lille, and they are very, um, um, they are very good in helping small uh, social companies. And they, there is a permanent um, uh, subsidy system to say, oh, you have an idea, you just come, and we j we'll look at the idea. Uh, and if it's interesting, we'll just give you 10,000 uh, euros uh, to spend in salaries. Uh, and so, and let's see how it goes. And this is very helpful to start. Uh, it gives a lot of confidence and for sure some money. Uh, but also, uh, municipalities are very good in, um, in logistics because you have every day thousands of people coming in your cities and going out of the cities. You have uh, every week a lot of trucks that collecting our trash. I mean, when I go in the streets, I don't see trash everywhere. So those trash are. Uh, there is a lot of energy put on trash collection. So you have uh, a very good uh, knowledge on how to handle these issues. And you really uh, maybe need to help us in, in handling it even better uh, by promoting a uh, centralized uh, washing system that can be mutualized by different companies. Uh, the, 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 the diapers are, are perfectly the, the, the example. How, how can you have the same performance than single-use diaper? Um, uh, but with clean one and definitely providing a service instead of providing a product is, is the key. Um, it is non-delocatable jobs, it's uh, better for the environment and you can really design a product and a solution for the long run.